Hello Aries and welcome to me Tarot Al. Today we're going to be doing your weekly reading. So let's shuffle the cards here and uh, see what this, see what the cards are bringing forward to you for this week. Alright, let's cut them and begin. Okay, here you have the two, four, six. Six of Wands. Six of Wands is showing that you've done a lot of growth. You've been doing a lot of growing. You could be doing a lot of growing in your career, in a relationship, or just a lot of inner, inner, inner knowing, inner, inner knowing of yourself. Yeah. And you're starting. To, you're starting to understand things now. You've done a lot of. You're having had a lot of inner growth. You've had a lot of growth within yourself. You as a as a person, you you've done a lot of growing. And you and you're understanding and you're understanding it more. You're understanding it more. Um, you're sitting very tall. You're sitting you're sitting on this horse. You're very tall. You're very proud. You have uh, you have you've made some accomplishments and you and you have the right to be very proud of yourself this week. Everybody. Okay, and this is card is just coming through and letting you know that um to remind you to remind you to keep things in balance though. You know. Keep things in balance. Don't be don't be handing out. Don't be taking handouts. Don't be taking all the glory. You know, don't take all the handouts and all the glory of this big accomplishment of what you've known and what's come to you, has made you grown as a person. Don't take it all for granted. Don't take it all for granted. You know, just remember before before this happened. You know, before all this this wonderfulness has happened to you and your understanding of how you've grown just remember the hardships and what got you there you know stay humble these people here on that's in the parade watching you you know they do have they have weapons as well you know they, they can uh, they can whittle off that growth and your glory pretty fast if they wanted to start poking on this horse here with those uh, wands you know, they can make spears out of them. So this is just reminding you, you know, just to stay humble. Because once, you know, you've done a lot of growing, you're staying humbled now. And here comes this big out, here comes a big, here comes a new opportunity for you. Because you've learned, you've learned and you've, You've grown within yourself to under your understanding yourself more, and it's going to bring a new beginning to you. Um, this also could mean a new down here. This is the gardens. It could mean uh, a new relationship could be starting here. There is an archway here. Um, even though you've done, you know, you're never going to stop learning. Though never stop learning. Never stop learning because, uh, you know, this is the ace, is the beginning. It's, you know, it's just the beginning. This is just the beginning for you. This is just the beginning. You know, never stop trying to do better and to make yourself grow even more. But stay humble about it, you know, because everybody has to start, everybody started down here. I don't want to forget about this. Now you have the Queen of Cups. Beautiful Queen of Cups coming through here. She is the the master of emotions. Let's just say. <laughs> she's very. She has lots of control of her emotions here. Um, you now she's just letting you just. A, she wants you to put a cap on your emotions, on your fun, on your thrills of, of finally achieving what what you want to become or what, what you've done this week. 
She wants you just to, you know, lay low a little bit. Lay low a little bit. The water here is pretty calm in, in this picture here. There's little ripples in it, but you don't want to make big ass, you don't want to make big waves. You don't want to make big ass waves. You know, try to, you know, keep your emotions intact. You know, don't go around bragging. Don't go around bragging and being flirtatious about this wonderful, about this wonderful opportunity, this wonderful win, this beauty that you've discovered about yourself or your passion for something. Um, that you've started or have learned, you know. You know, be careful. Be careful. You don't want to. You don't want to go back down the ladder. I mean, you can. You can. You know, you can go backward. You can go backwards. Um, you know, you learn from your mistakes. You know, but try to keep. Try to keep your emotions in balance. And you have the Two of Swords coming up. This, oh, has her heart crossed with two swords and blindfolded. You now the Queen's telling you to keep your emotions intact. You know, keep them under control. Keep them under control. And uh, the Two of Swords now has her heart crossed. You know, has her heart crossed over. Blindfolds on. Um, again, there's a lot of emotions going on. There's a big lake. Be there's a big lake behind her. You know, sure you can show some of your emotions. You know, you don't have to hide away, and and uh, you don't have to hide away from all these emotions and this progress and this beautiful fresh start that's happening to you. You don't need to put this blindfold on. You know, you don't have to cross your heart and make wishes. You just have to, um, you know, it's great to have joy and fulfillment and wonderful to celebrate and all. But don't, but again now, don't, don't trap, don't trap your emotion. Don't trap the emotions and hold them all in. That's not going to work either. You don't want to, you don't want to trap them. You know, this queen isn't really trapping them. She just has them under control. But if you look at it with this here, it looks as though she's trapping her emotions across in your heart. You're frightened now. You, you know, this is a, just another part of the reading, another scenario here where you could have won. You know, you, you, you're afraid. You're afraid to, to take on this new challenge, this new glory, this new beautifulness that's come, that you've realize has come to you and, and you're frightened of this. You're frightened of the to take the chance for this. But then here comes the four swords. Here comes the four swords. You know, again, just stay humble to yourself. Think. Be thankful. Thankful for your progress. Be thankful for what you have, what you've learned. And um just be thankful for everything that you've learned. You know, say your prayers. Say your prayers at. Say your prayers at night. You know. Be thankful. Be thankful. Don't take. Don't let the ego run away with you. Don't let the ego run away from you. In this glorious win, this new beginning. You know, because here, all right. So maybe she has this. Maybe you bandaged up here because you're trapping that ego. It's afraid to let your ego lie. It doesn't want your ego to ego to sneak out. That's why the queen is in control of the emotions in this cup. It doesn't want your blindfolded here. You don't want the ego. You don't want your ego to take over. So just you know, be humble. Be humble. Give to those. Give to those that need advice. If you think you need to give advice to someone, give the advice. Keep it in balance. Okay? And uh, that's your reading this week. A lot of different messages in it. So, you know, take what resonates with you and you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.